congratulations for uh, being a participant in this uh, spring baking championship this season. Thank you. I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, so so riddle me this: why why did you want to go on a competition reality uh, TV show like Spring Baking uh, Championship? You know, I just feel like. That would open so many doors for me. I'm just trying to move my business into the future. And I, you, people watch Food Network every single day. They watch it and they, that's, you want to be on Food Network someday. And when you're in the kitchen, that's, those are your peers and the people you look up to. And I'm just so excited to be able to stand amongst them. You know what? You have no, no idea how much Food Network I actually watch. I was telling someone the other day, that's, that's my sport. <laughs> I love, you know, I love it. And because there's so many things you can learn from it, whether you want to learn desserts or you want to learn how to make some home cooking or you want to learn how to make pasta, whatever it is, you can learn it on Food Network. Well, on, on, honestly, I just watch it for the competition. I have never tried to do any of the stuff that uh, you folks actually do. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's okay, too. Hey, so, uh, so Stephanie, give us a little background um, um, about yourself for the, those people who don't know. Um, we understand you're an entrepreneur. Yes. Um, I graduated from culinary school in 2010 and went on to internship and then work for a resort down in Laguna Beach. No, not Laguna, Newport Beach, sorry. And then I um, just kind of just fell in love with the industry and decided that I wanted to do it for the rest of my life. It was nothing ever felt as, you know, unique as just being there. So I love the kitchen and I went on to open my own business with my business partner and we have just flourished. We opened in 2017 and we started as just, you know, someone who was, we were doing a birthday party here for a friend or a family member. And before we knew it, we were booked every weekend. And <laughs> we were doing more and more cakes, more and more parties. And now we're on Food Network. <laughs> Obviously, you're, you're very quite talented. But would you say you have a specialty in something? I like to say that I specialty, my specialty is comfort food desserts. So I definitely cater to the everyday person. I am, I want you to eat my dessert and to remind you of grandma's or, you know, just something that reminds you of home. And so I, I tend to do more desserts like that. Did you use that strategy on this show, trying to push for that comfort food desserts? You know, I tried, but with every challenge it's different you have to be adaptable so you have to you know maybe something some challenges were not going to be something that grandma would have made at home so you know you really have to just adapt and that's the biggest advice I can give to anybody is just be adaptable well tell tell us tell us this because one of the things about uh, a show like this is trying to control your anxiety how did you manage to pull that off for yourself you know, I, I tend to be a really happy, upbeat person. So, and I'm, I'm one to just kind of shake it off. Um, but I think just taking it day by day or like moment by moment is really what it is. So, you know, maybe I spilled the milk, but I'm like, okay, you know what? Wipe it up and let's just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, because, you yeah. You, you know, I, I watch a lot of these shows, so I always like to get into your heads because one of the things is that everybody is different when they control, you know, their, their pressure, their anxiety on, on a show like this. What, what, at what stage of the competition process do you find it most difficult? Was it like the, the creative stage, trying to come up with the idea? Was it the planning stage, you know, basically trying to implement that, that idea? Or was it actually implementing it during the baking process? I definitely feel it's the creative stage. I was given ingredients I'd never heard of or never tasted or, you know, and so I definitely feel like trying to incorporate stuff that you've never worked with before and make it an amazing dessert, that is the, the most difficult part. Does it, doesn't that, when when this show throws so many curveballs at you, doesn't that frustrate you or infuriate you or that you want to throw your cake ingredients at the host? Absolutely. I, oh my gosh, I can't tell you. I, every single time I'm like, what? I don't know what this is. Every single time I didn't know what it was. So 
It's definitely um, very frustrating, but again, like I said earlier, you have to adapt. So you, you taste it, you taste it and hope for the best and cross your fingers. <laughs> the, the, thing, the thing about what I love about the, the shows on uh, Food Network, these competition shows, is the clock. Because in real life, we don't manage ourselves by the clock, but there is a ticking clock that's actually in the background that somehow subliminally it yells at you. Can you tell me like for yourself, when that clock starts, do you manage to block it out or do you basically constantly is aware that that clock is yelling at you? Oh my gosh, you're definitely aware that it's yelling at you. And you know, five minutes can seem like 10 minutes. And so you're, it definitely goes a lot faster than you think. When you're watching it on TV, you're like, oh, I can do that in three hours. And then you're in that moment and two hours have gone by and you don't have anything done. <laughs> so it's definitely something that is in the back of your mind constantly. And you're trying to just beat the clock. So, so, so be honest, um, when, 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 when the clock is about to be, uh, you know, r runs out, do you, do you, is it, is it movie magic that uh, you guys managed to like sprinkle something <laughs> right at the last thing at the minute, or is that actually happening? That is actually happening. <laughs> that is definitely happening. And I am a very clean worker. So I, I tend to like constantly clean my station. And I can tell you that my station is complete chaos because I have no time to be wiping things down. I'm just throwing stuff on plates. It, it is definitely, yes, yes, you're, that is real life. <laughs> now, is, because, it, because you seem like a very happy type of person, but Deep down inside, was there at any point you just wanted to throw up your arms and just give up? Oh, yes. Yes, uh, absolutely. Um, there's definitely, I mean, it's at the end of the day, it's a competition. So you don't want to go home. You don't want to fail. And you're serving desserts to your the people you look up to. And so when they don't like something, oh, my gosh, when you're waiting for judging and you know it, that dessert that's out there is not your 100%. And then when they taste it and it's not some, it, it's devastating. It's absolutely devastating. But you have to just know that, okay, there's just keep going. Just keep going. Like you can't take the preheat challenge. If you did something wrong in the preheat, you can't take that into the main challenge. You, you know, you just have to pick yourself up and it's a new challenge and let's do it again. I'm, I'm curious. What was your experience on the very, very first day of set? What was that like? That must have been really exciting. Yes, it was completely surreal. I mean, I think that that opening scene when we finally, when we first see the the set and you walk into the kitchen for the first time, I will never have that feeling again. Uh, that is going to be something that I will hold with me for the rest of my life because it is to just, it's very surreal to know that you've made it there. You've made it right where you're standing. And I, I mean, Thousands and thousands of people compete to get to where you're standing at that very moment and to know that you're one of the 11 people that made it is just, it's, it's incredible. Now you, you spent days and weeks with these other competitors. Did they, did they became your friends for life or do you basically focus on and say, you know what, they're my competitors? You know what? It, I mean, it is a competition, but they are friends for life. We have been through things that no one else has been through. So we understand and we know. And, and so, I mean, we actually all talk daily. Like we, and it's so funny, but we talk daily all the time, whether, I mean, I'm in California and there's some in New York and there's some in New Jersey and Texas and Miami. And we still find the time to talk to each other daily, give each other advice. You know, we all want to see each other succeed. So I know that only one person can win, but in, in the competition, but all of us can win in life. So that's just, you know. This sounds like a great overall experience for you. I, I want to know is after doing this show, how did this show made you a better person? Oh, it, it definitely made me um, realize that I can do anything I set my mind to. I think before I was really afraid to step out of my comfort zone. I would have never in a million years thought of doing a competition show because I didn't think I had what it takes to do it. And so uh, since the show, I'm, I'm like, no, I can do that. 
oh, if I see like if I see somebody else like make a cake and it's got all these crazies, I'm like, I can do that. I think I can do that. I might not be perfect, but I could do it. And so it definitely made me know that I can do anything I set my mind to. Wow, that is awesome. Well, Stephanie, let, let me leave with one more thought because obviously right now the world is crazy. Restaurants are closed and so, and so on. How are you staying sane and creative during this entire time? You know, we have been really blessed. Um, I was really worried at the beginning of the pandemic that we weren't going to have a business that, you know, with every, people not celebrating and people not having weddings. And I really thought that we weren't going to be able to move forward, but we've been really blessed in this whole thing that, you know, people are still finding a way to celebrate just on a smaller scale. So maybe we're not making a three tier cake. We're making a one tier cake. That's a six inch for just, you know, four people in the family. So I am, um, that has really kept me saying that people are still placing orders and they're still wanting to make these days feel just as special as before. Wow. That is awesome. You know what? I'm glad, I'm glad you are keeping busy during, during times like this. And a show like this is a great escape for a lot of people uh, during the pandemic. Well, Stephanie, Hey, thank you very much uh, for, uh, for speaking with us. And I, I know you can't tell us whether you won or what place you would, unless you want to tell us, of course. <laughs> if I tell you, then I have to kill you. So. <laughs> oh, okay. so I guess we'll have to check it out. But uh, once again, Stephanie, I really appreciate uh, you talking to us about it. And it sounds like you had a lot of fun. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. Hey, thank you. Next time. Yes. Bye now. Bye. <laughs>